Okay, so let's continue uh, by kind of making these uh, spots, kind of follow this curve here. Uh, since we already have the curve, uh, we can use it as, let me first turn off some of these. We can use it as uh, the curve uh, deformer uh, for this object. Uh, but first we need to add an array. Uh, let's use, I don't know how many, uh, space them up out. Let's click it. And uh, I'm going to select the curve. We're going to use this curve. Uh, it's called right now plane uh, 001 because I got it from this plane. Uh, so what I'm going to do is first rename it so that I can easily find it. So I'll call this support array. And uh, then select this array. And then uh, we need to add a curve deformer and select it from here can see how the curve is being added. So to position it uh, on the curve itself, I'm just going to select the curve. Shift S cursor selected, uh, so that the cursor is at the position of the curve. And then po uh, position this uh, to the cursor. Then cursor selection to cursor. And that should snap uh, this to, uh, to the rail. Uh, you may need to rotate yours uh, to get the right axis of rotation. Uh, using these planes these axes here or rotate them on uh, these axes like that so i also want to push them to the wall so i'll just grab them and uh, push them to the wall like so maybe i also need to scale this a bit and uh, push it down a bit uh, in on the X maybe scale this up again yeah I think we are good so yeah we're pushing some of the detail into the wall I can see from here I, I don't like that so because it took us a lot of time to do so let's no, just do that now what I can do I maybe just go into edit mode and uh, just reduce uh, the size of this handle here. Uh, can also space them, uh, uh, increase the spacing here a bit. So select this and uh, go to the array, increase the spacing a bit Maybe that's too much something like that uh, so we want the array count to add uh, so that in there so I'll apply now I'll, I'll reduce the array count to let's see 25 okay more. maybe we need more a little well, like that. Now, again, if you want this to go up and up, I would just need uh, also, uh, we need the inside rail. So, for that, I can just select this curve, duplicate it. Uh, but uh, before I do that, I want this to also have an array so that it can be continuous up to the top. Uh, so, for that, I will just add. Uh, give it its own array. Let's try the Z axis. Again, uh, the rotation of our array here is a bit off. So we would need a control object. Let's try this here. Offset uh, the rotation. And, uh, Let's increase the Z offset like that. Great, and uh, now we just need to increase uh, the count here, like so. Uh, then for this here, uh, we can do the same. I uh, just copy the array or add another array in <coughs> the Z axis. Like 
that again uh, we need to select a, a control object like so increase let's make sure we get the right offset uh, which we are not getting let me see what's going on here 